Got my GoPro on my head. Got my recorder going over here. You know what that means. Time for another virtual bird walk. Today, the sun is shining. A few birds are singing. Unfortunately, there's a lot of wind going on. That might make it hard for us to hear some things, but I did want to get you guys updated as to what new birds have moved into the yard so far uh, over the last couple weeks. So let's get out there and see if we can catch up with some of the new arrivals. Okay, so starting just right here in the backyard, um, there have been some changes. Um, we've got the usual resident birds hanging out. Up here we've got our uh, neighborhood red-bellied woodpecker. Red-bellied woodpecker is a bit of a misnomer because um, you can't often see their belly. They're woodpeckers. They're always stuck to a tree. Um, but I think when they went to actually name these guys red-headed woodpecker, a name was already taken by another bird that perhaps uh, more appropriately deserves the name red-headed red woodpecker. Um, so, you know, if you're looking at a museum specimen and trying to come up with a name for something, it's lying with its belly facing up. Uh, so I guess the red belly would be pretty apparent on that. But uh, unless you get a good angle on these guys, it can be hard to see their uh, pinkish-reddish belly. Perhaps one of the most obvious new arrivals is our friend the oven bird. You can hear them singing in here. They're very loud. Sounds like they're going teacher, 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 teacher. And that whistled song, is our Baltimore Oriole. We'll see if we can't get into our woods here and see if we can't track down this oven bird. Oh, I see our oven bird. It's perched about 20 feet up. Um, and that's him singing. Oven birds don't really look like a warbler. They're considerably larger than most of the other warblers around here. Um, they are brown, sort of a caramel brown color on the back. They've got spots on a otherwise white belly and breast. Um, and then they've got sort of a head stripe, so black head stripes with red in between, or sort of orangey red in between. Um, they've got a great big eye, a pink bill, and around their eye they have an eye ring. Um, they almost look like thrushes. They don't really look like a warbler. Um, but that coloration actually probably evolved independently um, of the thrushes that have the same coloration. And all of these birds spend their time hopping around on the forest floor. Um, so if you've got kind of a light underbelly and you're perched way high up, if something's looking up, um, it will see bright color and maybe you'll blend in a bit better. Um, if you have uh, brown on the back, obviously, and you're hanging out on the ground and something's looking down on you, uh, you'll, you're going to blend in pretty well there, too. Uh, oven birds actually build their nests on the ground, uh, underneath a bunch of leaves. They build this kind of dome, sort of like an old uh, brick oven type deal, and that's how they got their name. Um, when they're walking around on the ground, they walk around like chickens. Um, but uh, just like our tohi uh, last week, um, when you see a male that's way high up in a tree and you're used to seeing them on the ground, that sort of behavior you'd really only see in the springtime uh, when the males are really uh, hopped up on hormones and uh, singing their heads off. Now this is the same blueberry we saw last week uh, and you can see that it's uh, not only almost fully leafed out but it's got um, flower buds as well so these flower buds are then going to turn into uh, lovely fruit after they've been pollinated by some bees I 
course, that pine warbler again. So this time of year, you can have chipping sparrows and pine warblers singing. Pine warbler songs, they sort of swell in volume, um, and they're a bit more slurred than a very mechanical uh, chipping sparrow. Let's see if they'll sing again. Like I said, these piney woods, really nice for pine warblers, also oven birds, towhees, and a few other species as well that we might encounter. Things like brown creeper, hermit thrushes, which as I said earlier have kind of disappeared lately. Closer. I just heard a brown creeper singing. It's a very sweet song. Not sure we'll be able to get close enough to find the creeper itself, but we can maybe hear it. singing. Brown creepers only climb up on a tree. Um, and they typically climb up a tree in a spiral. They climb up trees in a spiral and then they'll fly to a lower point on another tree. Um, they've got stiff tail feathers like a woodpecker, um, but they're not related to them. They've got really long curved bill that they use to pick insects and bug eggs out of um, tree bark. And even though they're extremely tiny, they're able to spend the winter here as well. Brown creepers like piney woods are often found with red-breasted nuthatches as well. Keep our ears out for them. Red-breasted nuthatches sound like a, a bee trapped under a glass. A very whiny, fuzzy noise. Brown creepers will find an old pine tree that's died and the bark is peeling off from the trunk. Um, and they'll actually put their nest between peeled off pieces of bark and the actual trunk itself. Seems like a very dangerous place to nest, but I guess it works for them.